So if you remember my first hundred with the Janik TP9 SFX, or special effects as I like to call it, you might remember that I shot it in a competition, an IDPA match for the first time. First, literally my first shots. And I think literally the first shot, the red fiber came flying out of the front sight. So I shot the match with this sort of a sight picture. Which is okay, but it was a little bit annoying. It was especially annoying for that first stage, <laughs> just looking at that empty hole. Luckily, Janik supplies a replacement. You can see it right there. Uh, and they also supply one in the uh, sort of the lime green color as well. So, I'm pretty positive. I looked back at my close-up footage that's at the end of that first 100 video, and it, I'm pretty positive that... Uh, it just wasn't installed very well. It looked like the front of the filament didn't have uh, didn't have any mushrooming to it, so it just flew right out. I think on the first recoil. So I'm going to see if I can get this one in here. And oh, by the way, one thing that's really important to do if you only have a couple of these, and that is to take a measurement. And I did measure this, and it came out at 38 thousandths, because there are different sizes available, and I am going to order some spare. So 38 thousandths of an inch is the diameter for the, uh, I call it a filament, I tend to call it that, but for this fiber. I have a couple of different lighters. Okay, so I've got it placed in there just loosely, and the next step is to use a lighter, just a regular cigarette type lighter, to melt each end a little bit. I am not an expert. Um, I've actually not even done this before, so we'll see how badly I can screw it up. I was thinking about using this lighter. This actually is a lighter. <laughs> Firepower, huh? Um, but that probably would be fun, but very awkward. So I'm going to use another lighter. I might try this one. This one's nice, like a little blowtorch. More traditional. Traditional? Yeah, let's go traditional. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is <laughs> keep everything on screen. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to hold this up here. It may get a little blurry, I apologize, but I'm going to hold the flame near this, not necessarily touching it, just near it. Okay, let that start to mushroom out. That looks good. Looks very good. Now I'm going to push that forward. And that is just about perfect. So now I could trim the other side, but they kind of provided it in a sort of a pre-trimmed length, I guess. So I'm going to try to just heat this on this end. I'm going to hold my finger against the back of the front sight so that this can't slide backwards. So that we make sure we got a good snug fit here in the end. And again... Holding it closely, but not allowing the flame to touch it. And that looks good. Alright. So, I have replaced it. It took but a moment of work. And it looks like I did a decent job for a beginner who doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Let me zoom in and give you a close-up. And I think it looks like this guy might be ready to get back out and shoot, this time, with a red front sight. All right, here it is in close-up, just to give you a look. So on the back end, got a little bit of a, a little bit of a mushroom on it. 
Let's get a focus. And on the front, actually a little bit more. A little bit sloppier on the front, but I didn't really care about that. The only purpose for the front is to hold it in place. <laughs> the person who the person who's looking at the one on the front <laughs> isn't going to be as picky, trust me. Yeah, that should work. Hopefully, that'll work. Get it back to uh get it back to the range and try it. Although I'm also going to put an optic. I have ordered an optic to put on this gun. I have a few to choose from already, but I ordered a new one. And I'm going to put it on this gun. And we're going to take it out and shoot it some more. There you go. Okay, I've added an optic, a Vortex Venom, to the Janik TP9 SFX. And put the little charging handle on it. Now, there's just one thing more that it really needs. If you can guess what that might be. That's right. <laughs> talon grip. So let's finish this thing off by putting a talon grip on it. And then it's going to be ready for the range again. Okay, you guys have seen me do this enough by now. You know the drill. Let's just rip through it. All right. So, lay it in there. We have our index points. This is going to be the tough area right here, the back strap. And it always is, for me at least. Okay. Got a nice overlap area. So that ought to stay put pretty well. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That went on really nice. Very easy. Okay. Now let me heat it up. Do some smushing. Okay, here we go. So we lose a little bit of our two tone on that back strap, but some sacrifices must be made. It is a sacrifice well worth it. All right, get the slide back on her. And now. Ready to rock and roll. Got the Vortex Venom. Charging handle, which I probably won't leave on there. And the Talon Grip. And the new fiber optic front sight. She's ready to go.